we know now with a lot of conviction that it's better to collaborate than not to collaborate. On average, it means students achieve more, uh, teachers get better with their expertise, teachers get more, more motivated to teach, to stay in teaching, and it's easier to develop and implement change over time because everybody has an understanding of what they have to do. But what we don't really know yet is within collaboration, what are some of the better or worse, way, worse ways to collaborate? And that's the difference between professional collaboration, which means all the different ways that we can design collaborating together this way or that way, here or there, from collaborative professionalism, which is really bringing together the evidence, some of ours, some of other people's, of what are the most effective ways to collaborate. And we know what some of those are. They are uh, get more focus, get more precision. Uh, be a bit more robust in the conversations you have with each other. Involve your students as well as yourselves. Don't make it just be about you for your students, but about you with your students. And while you're doing all that, being more precise, being more focused, valuing your expertise and what you each have to offer. Also, at the same time, build, strengthen, deepen the relationships you have with each other, the care you have for each other, the solidarity you have with each other when you're up against something challenging, difficult, and sometimes, day by day, a little bit wearing. That's collaborative professionalism. Better relationships, more expertise, greater focus.